all right everybody welcome back to the channel today I will be driving up there there's a mountain lake with a little pass up towards it and there's a bottom lake and a mountain lake that's connected to each other and uh, it's a really nice drive so let's go here we are so this mountain lake and the mountain lake up are connected to each other and there's a little mountain pass in between um, which I'm gonna take and often there's some nice cars and bikes and uh, yeah the top lake is really nice let's see maybe we can even find some off-road you never know but the scenery is really nice here these roads are used to use the, to practice their motorcycle skills and uh, often that goes with higher speed. It is 60 here, so therefore the police is often checking these, uh, these roads on people who are speeding and so on. So yeah. So if you want to practice your hip and you're going too fast, the best thing you can do is just put down your foot uh, brake and keep your throttle, throttle the same another GS so now I'm throttling but I'm braking it dead with my rear brake and that's way you keep full control of your bike without another two without it, uh, having the feeling that you fall down because as long as you keep the traction as long as you keep your throttle on you will never fall down with the bike and this sounds maybe scary but no matter the speed, even if it's on first gear, you probably won't let the, uh, the bike fall down. And it's just something you can practice. And therefore you can put your... You can just practice your speed going up and up and up this way. And if you... Because if you're in the corner and you let down your throttle, you will feel that the bike is going also falling inside. But if you don't do this and you keep your throttle the same, but you put your foot down like this you can also hear it by the engine sound if I'm going too fast, put my foot down and the, car, the bike goes again to the middle of the, of the corner this guy in front of me is also practicing his corner abilities I think really overtake because you're staying in the middle of the of the road thank you so you just prepare for your corner this is a long ride and then you put your right foot down and you just break it down and as soon as you think oh we can go again you lift your foot and you automatically go faster again this is a nice viewpoint so I will stop quickly so you can see also that the bottom lake and the top lake is connected by this road But it's a nice little road and it's a short let's say mountain pass with some corners not really happen so that's so it's also used to for people a lot to practice their motorbike skills and of course don't forget to brake for the corner in general the trick is just to go when you're too fast not to let your throttle go but just correct your bike in the correct way and then it's way easier to take the corner and make it uh, keep the bike steady and if you're driving with a passenger that's only a plus because they also don't feel the the falling effect then to say like this look at this 
if this nice road goes into this mountain lake with this view and this is still Germany so Germany can also have nice places people <laughs> going very slow and we're spotting on the right if we can overtake on the left that's always the challenge And then let's see, there's a private road here on the left. I know there's a lot of little roads that goes into the forest, but I need to watch out that I'm also allowed to go in there. Because if not, I don't know what the fine is. I heard something that they can take away your license here in Germany for it if you don't obey these rules of going off-road. So I don't know if that's true. If anybody knows about this, then please let me know in the comments because I'm really curious. And look at this, BMW GSS, today. So this is a little private road. So yeah, I mean, look at this. Oh, big fella. Not gonna win this fight. There is also a cable car drive right up there, but unfortunately a motorcycle is not allowed, so can't do that, can't do that. Ooh, that's also nice, and it's still driving even. Alfa Romeo Spider. So if you guys want me to drive a BMW GS adventure on the next road trip that I'm doing, probably Italy again next week, then please leave a comment below and a like that I should do this and then I can do a review and my thoughts on the BMW GS of a weekend road trip. So let me know. And if I reach 250 likes before next weekend, then I'll take the BMW GS 1250 adventure. So leave a thumbs up. Okay. Oh, more GSs. Crazy. So this back road should maybe have some off-road little roads that I can practice some. Because I'm very much still in practice mode. But I do enjoy it, so it's cool. I 
Okay, let's see what we can do there. There's even a little river I can maybe cross. Maybe we can try this. Maybe not. Let's see. So now I have to do all these settings. Right mode, explorer, throttle, off-road, slip adjuster is fine by me. I'm not good enough to do this. And then we go down here. And this is, I think, picture time. Okay, it seems like this will be my first river crossing. Do this, but let's see, I guess. On the stones. So, then you go across, good for the practice, but there's nothing, which means we have to go back. That's not good. <laughs> I'm stuck. <laughs> okay. You made it out. Feet are wet. Okay. Ha! That was fun. <laughs> so, that was quite fun. Again, a new experience. Okay. I could go like all Moto Madness now. <laughs> and smash off his mirror. But sometimes I also think all these Moto Madness videos, they also look for it, you know? I mean, you guys probably also seen all this video, so... If you just don't overtake with 180 kilometers on the right side and then say, Hey, motherfucker! You didn't see me? Smash off his mirrors! I think a lot of these uh, things can be prevented by just giving each other a little space on the road. Just like this. No one's harmed. I'm not late. So yeah, I don't really understand many of these Moto Madness videos. Some I do. Some I don't. I don't know what your guys' opinion is on this, but I think uh, a lot can be prevented by just giving each other some space. I'm gonna head home now. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, give me a thumbs up. If there's enough likes, I'll take the GS on my next adventure. So let me know. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.